Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and on this video I want to show you how to use Fortnite on your iPad or iPhone. I have Fortnite on my iPad and I'm gonna try to open it. And look at this, it's gonna stay in connecting forever. Why? Because Apple is pretty much blocking Fortnite on all the Apple devices. And this is because Epic Games wanted to be able to charge directly to customers. And Apple didn't want that. Apple want everything to go through the App Store because in that matter, they can get 30% on all their revenues. So there's a lawsuit that Fortnite is doing against Apple and we're gonna see what's going on, right? But unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to use Fortnite on this iPad because of the version of the game that I have. So there's a workaround. In order to download a compatible version of Fortnite on your phone, this will only work if you previously download Fortnite before. So if you never download Fortnite on your Apple account, you cannot do this. But if you did, there's a way to get back the most compatible version for your device. So in order to do that, you're gonna go to the App Store and from here, you're gonna click on your icon, your account icon. In my case, it's a soccer ball. And from here, you're gonna click on purchase, purchase. Okay, in my case, I have a family here, but in your case, it's only gonna be purchases, okay? And these are all the apps that I downloaded on this account. This will include games and everything. So basically, you're gonna look for Fortnite. So you can search for it. Ford, and look at this, right there. We found Fortnite, and I downloaded it on January 20, 2019. So that's what I'm telling you guys. This will work if you download it before the fight with Apple. So in this case, I have it, and I'm just gonna click download. Oh, and look at this. This item is not longer available. My God. This item is not longer available. My goodness. This is insane, guys. So this is not even working at all. So what happened with the email that Fortnite sent to me? Epic. Okay, and Epic sent me an email and it says, Apple has blocked Fortnite updates on iOS and Mac devices. Apple is blocking Fortnite updates and new installs on the App Store. Okay, let me see what else. If you previously download Fortnite on iOS before, you can re-download the app by opening the App Store, clicking the account icon on the top right corner, click purchase to open the list of apps you previously downloaded, click the cloud or download button next to the Fortnite app. So this is what I did. Other ways to play, you know, on a PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, or on your PC. You can also still download it from Android. So this is the email they sent to me, guys. And this is clearly, you know, opening the App Store, clicking the account icon in the top right corner, click purchase to open the list of apps you've previously downloaded, click the cloud or download button next to the Fortnite app. So let's do it one more time, guys, so you can see it. App Store, click on the icon, click on purchase, my purchases, I'm gonna search for Fortnite, which is right here, January 20, 2019, and I'm gonna try to download it. This item is not longer available. Look at this, this item is not longer available. Look at that, Fortnite, but boom. Wow, this item is not longer available. I really don't know what to do. So what I'm gonna do now is, you see? Oh, look at this, guys. It is actually doing it. Look at this, guys. 0 0.2 of 437 megabytes download remaining. So we're gonna download Fortnite on the iPad and we're gonna see how can we solve this, all right? So let's just leave it there, downloading, and I'll be back with Fortnite. 